anything. <laughs> like you will only eat good food. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I'm running late because uh, I missed the train that I was supposed to take and now I'm like 10 minutes late. Today I'm going to go to Mampo area and then uh, I signed up for this Airbnb experience to see the market with a guide. This is the Takashi station. And it's right next to a bunch of different like traditional markets like Chakachi market, Bukjin market, or I think I actually don't really know all the names, but yeah. It's also right next to like Biff Square. Usually the special uh, spice one is the best. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you want me to hold it? Oh, it's okay. Mmm, it's good. Mmm, it's good. It's good. <laughs> they say, oh yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm talking to you. Oh. <laughs> Look, this is very rare case. She actually he is making right now. Um. Look at that, that's the one, 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 that's the Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, let's get mm. so it depends. You have you are my lactose, you know, allergy. You don't have to drink just normal milk, or you can add some almond milk, oh. any kind of sorts of milk. Or what about what? Are, I don't recommend. Okay, not taste good. Ah, oh. not non taste. Oh. Always good with milk. Hmm. Is this kind of like um misukaru? Yeah, that's it. Ah, yeah, that's it. Misukaru is only grains, ah. but something is mixing with the vegetables. Mm. Oh, it's a variety. Oh, okay, okay. Variety. It's important, yes. especially if you want to travel. Mm. You have to eat anything. Yeah. Anything. So can you see this street? It's mm. kind of, kind of fish cake. But they don't make here. Oh, the so one we went, they they made it fresh. Oh, just right now. Yeah. So we had the best one. I love misugaru, oh. <laughs> so I really like. This. Okay. I don't know why. It just feels very um, like homey. <laughs> sure. I think oh. so. I think the Asian feeling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same. Same. That's it. It's feeling like we are eating meat. Yeah. And very filling. <laughs> None flowers. No flour? No flour. Mm. Mm, it's just a bean paste. Bean paste. A lot of vegetable. Yes. And then um, potato flour. Oh. Potato powder. Flour. Maybe you've done several tours before? Mm, actually, no. This is the first tour that I've done. Okay. Yeah. Well, I always wanted to. I just never had the courage. 
But I really, really wanted to try the food, so I was like, oh, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> well, we serve a lot of food here. Yeah. Yum. More food than so. Mm. Yeah. I feel that way too. You do? Because mm, like the hot dogs, yeah. like Shia hot dogs, yeah. like you don't see that anywhere else, I guess. Or hard to find. Hard to find. But it's so good. <laughs> mm. I'm very picky. Oh. I'm very picky? Mm. I can eat anything. I'm very picky. Mm. Like you will only eat good food? Perfect! <laughs> perfect! The word is perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Normally I like chili one. Hmm. Mmm. Did I try this one before? Mm -hmm. no. Healthy is nice. Mm -hmm. Sorry, not healthy. Healthier <laughs> than potatoes in the chips. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Ah. Because instead of yeah, too, too healthy, mm. more like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I feel like. So do they dry it? themselves and then they fry it everything? No, 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 no. They, they just fry here. Um, but the one thing... Red bean. Mm. Oh. I've been wanting to try it. Oh, maybe I should take the photo. This is a nice part. Mm. Mm. Well, it's important that the good food comes with all the effort and time. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, we ate so much food and then like all the shop owners were so nice. There was one shop at the end where they were selling like traditional snacks and she had like these samples out so we she was like calling for us to like try it. So we tried it and then <laughs> Siri ended up buying a bunch but then she just like kept on giving me samples at the end. She even gave me like four of these cracker things to like leave with. At first I was like, oh, I'm fine because I'm so full. But Siri was like, oh no, this is chillin. You have to take it. And then so, yeah. So full right now. So earlier when we were when we first had met up, um, Siri was telling me about Biff Square and kind of how the film festival started in this area because there were a lot of theaters. Um, but then once it became more internationally known, it actually oh. moved, and so now the film festival is held at a new building in Hyundai. I'm gonna be very honest right now. 
I don't know where I'm going. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of just walking on the streets. The, but I think I'm gonna keep on walking at least towards like Nampo Station area and then kind of just see what I see along the way. I don't know. So I came out to this park area because I saw the sign and I was like, oh park, yes, park, park sounds nice. And it's actually like right next to the, oh, not her. it's like right next to the Pusan Tower. And I didn't realize that, I was so close. Um, but I was looking at the map trying to figure out what I want to do next. And originally, like my original, original plan was to go to like Yongdo and then because it's like right across the bridge from Nampo um, but I don't think I'll have enough time today to kind of fully explore that area because it still takes some time to like get there especially by bus the main part of this vlog anyways was the food market so yeah shall we start walking? I don't want to but let's go. Twenty minutes later, I'm still here. Okay, now I'm going to go to wherever, somewhere. I'm gonna go somewhere and. It was just really nice sitting here. Plus, you can see the leaves. They're actually orange now. Because for the longest time, I'm like, when is fall coming? It feels like fall, but it doesn't look like fall. Now, it finally is fall. So full still and kind of tired so I think I'm gonna stop the vlog here and head on back to rest. I'm so glad that I finally got to try the foods in the traditional market. I know it's like a lot of money to spend on an Airbnb experience but honestly to have someone who is so knowledgeable about like the history of the culture to kind of explain the importance of the locations and kind of how these markets came to be is so cool and so I think if you are in Busan and Siri is still running this experience definitely check it out I'll link it down below it's not sponsored or anything I just I found it on Airbnb experience and I thought it was really cool and after having experienced it all I thought it was like really worth the money like I had to pay for all the food myself but it really wasn't that much um, I'll put the total of however much I spent somewhere because it's like really overwhelming right there's like so many different stands that sell all the same kinds of stuff so you just like never know which one to actually go to so I thought that was really nice to have like that experience curated for you and I will see you guys next week